Good evening and welcome to Collective oh, Pines. Oh, 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 come back, Gus. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, it's, once again, it's time for Collector Cars TV, and here's your host, Litz Lance. <laughs> I even got cut off on that one. <laughs> uh, Are you tipping him to do apparently, that? Apparently, I didn't even know I was tipping him. <laughs> I start doing an intro here, and all of a sudden, I hear you talking, and I'm going, and I'm looking over, the camera isn't even on me. <laughs> Hey. I'm telling you, we what, almost what? wore the same shirts tonight. You know? Yeah, that would have been disastrous, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would have been like a father and son show. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I got Strawson with that good when he was on. Um, huh, another week. I sent out an email blast today. I got it. Uh, on the Quaker Steak and Lube. Big show coming up. Um... Home Depot, the 20th, pre-Father's Day show. The Suncoast Superboat Grand Prix. That's three good shows we got coming up in the month of June. So it uh, should be a good month for everybody. I know there's an awful lot of folks telling me they're coming up from down south, Englewood area and stuff like yep. that, coming up to Quaker Steak, so it should be good. Um, last weekend, what did we do last weekend? It's all becoming one big blur now. One, Is it? Yeah, it's all melding into one weekend. We had Hooters. That's right, we had Hooters in Bradenton. Yeah. Actually, we had two gorgeous nights. No rain, uh, uh, just enough cloud cover, blue skies, uh, just enough to keep the heat down, had a nice breeze. Uh, we didn't have a big turnout at Stefano's, but we had a very nice evening. Uh, then we had uh, Hooters, we had about 70 or so up there, 75, which is not bad for summertime. Yep. Turned and, out to be a good uh, evening. Turned out to be a very good evening, right up until the end. And I'm going to go ahead and announce this because I'm sure that Debbie's going through her address book. So is my wife. My wife called her before I got a chance to dust myself off. Uh, after the Hooters show, you missed it. Thank goodness nobody was there with a camera. I come out of Hooters after seeing the manager and did a half gainer into the ditch. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, and it was a tuck and roll. I hit the, the other side of the bank and rolled back down into the bottom and then kind of disappeared. And Vinny's sitting there looking at Artie going, if he stands up, we'll have no mercy on him. If he doesn't get up, we better go help him. <laughs> he, might, he might be hurt. So I stood up. Ah, yes. <coughs> I'm br brushing myself off. <coughs> Why do you tell all these stories? I mean, you know, be if, if, if you didn't tell a story, word, nobody would know this stuff. Yeah, but what it is, Bill, is that when, when the, see, Debbie got the, the uh, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. I stood up, I'm brushing myself off, and my cell phone rang. And it was Debbie, and she said, are you okay? I thought she was f so concerned. I said, yeah, the only thing bruised is my ego. And she said, oh, thank goodness. She said, I heard there was a heck of an earthquake in Manatee County. <laughs> I, I could have been in Fort Myers. The guys in Bradenton would have known about it before I could have dusted myself off. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, yeah, but thank goodness nobody had cameras. It was a knob on a route or something, and you know, I didn't see that. Anyway, they laughed all through dinner on me, too. There you go. Um, but it was a good night. It was a gorgeous show. Um, Ed Zakowski, now he's clicking away with his camera. He's doing a great job on his uh, videos. Uh, I guess he's digging through his files to see some really neat cars that he's got from different shows. I've got two clips tonight. One is going to be from Hooters in Bradenton. The other is going to be from a show in Canton, Georgia. It's just a cruise night, so it's not a big show or anything, but some neat so, stuff. So anyhow, you know, you've heard of Girls Gone Wild, right? Yeah. Well, this is, we're going to call this Ed's Gone Wild. Ed's Gone Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's Gone Wild. Yeah. I tell you, I love it. Um, he loves the cars. He loves the hobby. He's getting into it. And folks, that's all you have to do. Send me still shots, just nice snapshots of, of a, you go to a car show out of town, up in Tallahassee, in Orlando, wherever. But now, Ed stuff. has actually produced these. He's, He's actually doing his right. own, his own uh, slideshow. Yeah. He's actually doing the the uh, graphics, yeah. the transitions, all that kind of stuff, and he's he's really uh, really getting into it. Well, look at Martin Garten. Yeah. Wow. I mean, he his last uh, batch of stuff was absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Which we have another one coming up. Yes, we do. As soon as I get a mega email, my email's fixed. All right. 
I got, email him. Email him. I got we'll, people, we'll take him down immediately. They're emailing me going, what happened? I emailed you two weeks ago. We finally got it fixed. Three hours the guy worked on it. But he fixed that and a few other things that I, I guess punching the keyboard doesn't help this. Probably and not. See, I have extra keyboards. When I punch one, I throw it out and I grab another one. <laughs> it's cheaper than throwing a window out the computer. You know, the window out the computer. Anyway, let's take a look at some cars. Why don't we? That'd be a good idea. <laughs> Canton, Georgia. No, Check wait a minute. This that doesn't look out. like a car. Now, yeah, but you know, he was trying to show the folks something that they might actually let me drive. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's pretty cool. I wish I knew how old this was. I don't know, but it is a very cool old tractor. Yeah, Chevelle. Yeah. And, and I, I like the way the stance on this car is, too. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll set them down. This one was kind of set up. And from the Chevelle, we go to a Nova. That looked a lot like uh, Ed Sluss when I first saw it. 16.5, it could be yours. There you 67 go. 67 Nova. Nice street run. What is that, a 34? Uh, it could be right in that era. Which, yeah, actually, the front grill does look like that, so it does indeed. This is, I believe. It was one of the pace cars, wasn't it? Thunderbolt. Well, see, I was thinking it was, uh, yeah, it is yeah. kind of set up as a Thunderbolt. Check that interior, man. That's nice. 427. Thunderbolt. I guess you have seen this stuff. Well, I took a little sneak preview. <laughs> Oldsmobile. And uh, Ed has got a uh, friend up in this area, and he's mm -hmm. the one that takes the photos. And I know Ed has talked to him about trying to get us some information about the cars, because it certainly would be a lot nicer. Got yeah. A Camaro and a Charger. Uh, in the background, that yellow car is a 68 um, Impala. You don't see too many of them. New Camaro. Yeah. The old 2010. Red one. There's not too many of those out on the road, that's for sure. We no. know that. Gay fell in love with this car. She, you know. She wants one, huh? Yeah. Nice charger. RT. Excellent. Like, yeah, real I think well that's done. 60, 68 by the taillights. 69 has the long taillights. You know what I loved about those and about mine, the pistol grip? Yeah. Check this out, huh? He, he snuck that in for his buddy Mergens. Look at this. That is a gorgeous Camaro. Yeah, 69. Mm-hmm. RSSS, of course, that was. Now, is this a Roadrunner? Uh, I didn't catch a look at it that well. There's your, there's your they shifter. Go, they go, yeah, there's that. Look at that. That her shifter was cool. No, that's a Charger, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Look at these two. Definitely uh, different style, some different styles of cars. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really cool to be able to have something yeah. like this. And like I say, this was not a huge show. It was apparently a cruise night, but uh, gorgeous stuff. Look at this Ford, 56, 55. Yeah, right in that arrow. Maybe seven even. Oh, it might even be a seven. No. Yeah. This is nice. It's very much like Bill Groh's truck. Mm-hmm. Almost the same color. Very cool. Very well done. From the looks of it, very clean. Yeah, it's a little difficult when you don't have any information on the cars, but... Oh, Mr. Taman. Cadillac. Yeah. Convertible. And look at the wheels on it. Yeah. Big 20, look, they look like the big 20 or 22-inch wheels. AMX.